Hi guys, here in my bowl I have my seasoned goat meat. It has been marinating for a few days, so I will leave in the description box the seasonings that I use to season it. In my pressure cooker, I have about 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. I am eating it on a low flame. Afterwards, I am going to add 2 tablespoons of curry. I am using the better pack curry. You can use a curry powder of your choice. Afterwards, I am going to add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder. I am going to let the curry burn for a minute or two on a very low flame because you know if we skip this step then we might hurt our belly so here I'm just adding a clove of garlic so what I did I crushed it before I add it into the pot now it's time for me to add my meat so I am going to gradually add the meat Ensure that each piece is coated fully in the curry. Cover the pressure cooker without the rubber and the weight and let it steam for about five to seven minutes. When you do it this way, it will develop a lot of flavor. It will develop some water of its own. So here I'm just checking on it after five minutes. So I'm going to give it a stir and then I'm going to add some hot boiling water. So guys you know we don't add cold water to our meat because we don't want to stop the cooking process. So look how beautiful the meat looks guys, yes. Gonna have some delicious goat meat. Here I'm adding a teaspoon of ginger powder. It would be best to add the fresh ginger, but I did not have any guys. I ran out, so I had to use the ginger powder. So I am going to cover the pressure cooker and let it pressure for about 30 to 40 minutes. It's finished pressuring, so I am going to check to see if it is fully cooked. I am 
going to be adding some natural seasoning into the pot. So here I'm adding some fresh thyme. Afterwards, I'm going to be adding some white onion. Scotch bunny pepper, you can add it to your taste. And some scallion. So you can also add your garlic and your pimento seeds. I will not be adding any salt, but if you like at this point, you could taste and see if it has enough. But mine was well seasoned, so it doesn't need any salt. I am not going to be adding any carrots or Irish potato into mine, but if you like, you could add it to yours. Cover the pot and let it simmer for 10 to 15 more minutes. My goat meat is all done. Look how delicious and juicy it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more awesome, tasty and delicious recipes. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video. Bye bye.